So hello and welcome to another class of AB Universe Sciences. This is Abhishek Pithu. So today I'll be talking about uh, pathogenicity islands. So these are very interesting topics and very complicated ones because no such information properly are given in the books also. So that's why I made this class. So let's start. So first I'll go for a picture uh, and uh, it will help you to understand what are pathogenicity islands. So this is a typical picture of a pathogenicity island. So it's a mobile genetic element. First one is a mobile genetic element which can be transmitted from one bacteria to another bacteria that is present inside the bacteria is through horizontal transfers. So horizontal transfers means you know that the conjugation transformation transaction. These are the few means of uh, horizontal transformation or how is it to transfer of the genetic material from one bacteria to another bacteria. Now, it consists of uh, direct repeats, DR means direct repeats. Then the integrase gene, you may have heard about the enzyme, which the function of this integrase gene is to integrate the genome of the bacteria from the foreign one and integrate into the uh, host. So it is functioning as an enzyme integrating the foreign uh, DNA into the new one of the host. Then it carries forward with the genes or the ORS present, means the genes which are present inside that island, actual characteristic of the island, and then move uh, MOV, which are responsible for the mobilization, mobilization of these pathogenicity islands, and again the direct repeats. So direct repeats are present on both sides of the pathogenicity islands, and inside that, these different genes are available. Now, what are the origin? The origin of so scientists say that it is a remnants of bacterial fungus. So remnants of bacterial fungus. Or it may be a form of plasmids. So we know that uh, the main thing when a mobilizable element is integrated into the genome, there are some hotspots. So in this case, in this uh, pathogenicity islands, they require a hotspot, but they prefer a hotspot that is the three prime end of TRNGs. So here, I'm trying separately. Suppose this is the three prime end of TRA. So they prefer to integrate or present just beside the three prime end of the TRA genes. These are the hotspots found in the uh, genome of the bacterial host, which where they actually integrate. Now, you know, if you heard about the origin. We know that in case of transduction, there are homologous recombinations and the excision of the materials. There are free error problems or generalized or specialized transactions. So likewise, the recombination process of this host, uh, this uh, foreign DNA into the host is actually very important. Now, what they actually, so pathogenicity islands may confer several characteristics. So characteristics. So what can be a pathogenicity islands if it confers the resistance to a particular antibiotic or one or two antibiotic then it is called a resistance pathogenicity island. So actually this island is giving the bacteria particular property of defending itself through or against the antibiotic. So the island, this genes, this, this uh, total green mark genes, actually here in case of resistance island, it confers the bacteria or the genes present there are responsible for the resistance of the particular antibiotic against the antibiotic. It may be through different mechanisms, it may be pumping out, it may be neutralizing the antibiotic, but the genes which 
are actually responsible for resistance against a particular antibiotic is present here in this section. So that is important. Now, if this pathogenicity islands confer a uptake, uptake of nutrients. So, in some cases, in adverse conditions, bacteria need to have which are nutrients which they do not actually require or they do not generally uh, consume or utilize. That time, their pathogenicity islands become active and help them to survive that particular difficult condition through secreting some of the enzymes or different metabolites which are helping them in digesting these nutrients. So, in that case, it is a helping nutrient uptake in pathogenicity islands. So, you can see here that pathogenicity islands have different functions in different areas in different bacteria. So, these are the actual form of pathogenesis, pathogenicity islands. So, in case of stability, there the stability depends on the bacterial uh, balance between the pathogenicity or the survival capacity. So, in a particular situation where several bacteria are showing or just activating their pathogenicity islands to survive the area or to survive the situation, that time it has to maintain either to be a survive the position or it is overcrowding the situation. That time it will be automatically deactivated or be activated depending on the environmental or that situation. So that time this the whole thing from the integrase to the mobilizer element should be again excised out with the DR repeats, direct repeats which are present there and there will be no potential islands or it may be uh, transferred to another host. So it totally depends upon the actual situation what is going on in that environment. So in that case, not only uh, the situation is responsible, but the enzymes which are actually responsible, suppose integrase can help in pop out in or pop out the island. Okay, then maybe one situation. Sometimes the direct repeats which are present there. So, the direct repeats which are there inside the uh, inside the potentiality islands, they recombine or having the recombination process with another hotspot area or another host or another bacteria. That time it has to move from one side to another side. Okay, or it has to excise out from that region. So, this is also the direct repeats and the integral genes are responsible for the excision of particular genomic island. Now I talk about the characteristics which are actually giving the form of genomic pathogenicity islands their name. So as I have said already that they confer different types of activities but have, uh, here I will uh, discuss some of the virulence factors because these pathogenicity islands are related to virulence. They are responsible for virulence. So, they can show the virulence to their host, means the bacteria can show their susceptible host several means of susceptibility through different mechanisms. And so, what are the virulence factors? I will tell you. So, the virulence factors are secretion, first one is secretion systems. So, secretion system, you may have heard there are seven types of secretion systems from the bacteria. And uh, most of the pathogenic, pathogenic bacteria are showing type 3 and type 4 secretion systems. So, type 3 and type 4 secretion systems are related to type 3 and 4 related to gram negative bacteria. Okay. So, they are actually related to gram negative bacteria. Now, there are several types of system systems, but 
most important ones I have told you. So, suppose Salmonella typhimibia, they have two islands, SP1 and SP2. These are the names of two pathogenicity islands present in the Salmonella typhimibia. And these pathogenicity islands are responsible for this secretion system as well as the factors which are responsible for adherence to the host and uh, the mechanism of pathogenicity. So the next one is, yes, different types of toxins are produced by these pathogenicity islands means the toxin gene present inside the pathogenicity island of several host, uh, sorry, several bacteria. And these bacteria genes are responsible for the toxicity. So I will give you one crucial example that uh, Staphylococcus The Staphylococcus SB produce a super antigen This super antigen actually increases the numbers of immune response or increases the intensity of the immune response in the form of CD4 plus or T cells. So the host where the bacteria is actually infecting that time it creates an anaphylactic shock inside the host due to the production of this super antigen. And this super antigen uh, then will be non responsive, the immune response will be non responsive to the bacteria, and the host or the person is uh, going to, suscept, uh, to succumb to the injuries or the infection process of this particular pathogen. So, adhesion is one of the most important process of pathogenicity of a bacteria, it has to adhere to the host. Uh, I have already taken a class on the bacterial pathogenicity mechanisms, uh, so how they infect a human. So you can go to the class and see it. So the adhesins is one of the crucial factor in their pathogenicity, and that is also produced by not always, but that is also uh, produced from the pathogenic organism produce these adhesins due to the presence of pathogenicity islands. So I'll give you an example like adhesin. Here yeah, I'll give you fimbri. Yes, fimbri. Fimbri in Streptococcus pyogenes. Fimbri in Streptococcus pyogenes are responsible for the adherence of this particular bacteria to the host, and that gene is present inside the pathogenicity islands. So this pathogenicity island can increase the pathogenicity of a particular bacteria of a particular species which can be transferable from one host or one bacteria to another bacteria through horizontal transfers. And these pathogenicity islands can confer different types of characteristics, not only resistance, not only uh, neutron uptake or metabolic uh, advantage, but also you can see here that adherence, production of toxins and several other virulence factors. So these are the actual concept of uh, pathogenicity islands and pathogenicity islands and uh, that's all about that. So if you have any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you. So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.